We're here for BCB's Media Day and website relaunch. I'm joined by the European champion, Tyler Denny. Tyler, thanks so much for coming down. Uh, you've been a, a massive part of BCB in the last few years since you joined. You've been arguably the biggest success story, not that we can choose and pick favourites, but uh, <laughs> it's been an amazing time for yourself and, and BCB's obviously been a huge part of that. Yeah, definitely. And it's good to reward BCB as well. They've been they've helped me just as much. We've helped each other. It's been a joint venture and both going to the top. And you speak about going to the top. We've got to talk about it. Wembley Stadium, you will be walking out chief support on the biggest show of the year in the UK, one of the biggest shows in the world this year against Hamza Shiraz. It's an amazing opportunity, but something that I've been stressing to people is it's one that you've earned. You're there for a reason. Uh, and it's something that I know you can probably say you probably never dreamed of, but as a big football fan, walking out to Wembley Stadium in front of 80, 90, potentially 100,000 people, it's going to be something special. It, it, it's unreal. I was telling my son about it. Like, we went to Wembley last year, and I talk about it too much when Man U beat Newcastle. But mm-hmm. um, And I told him, I'm going to fight at Wembley. He's like, nah, Dad, you can't fight at Wembley. That's for football. I said, trust me, son. This, I'm going to fight at Wembley. So... It's crazy, and like I've calmed down a bit now. There's loads of excitement and mm-hmm. stuff and media work, but you got to get back and do the business, in yeah. Back in camp, back training, and that's where it really matters. It's all right. I'm not. Go- I don't go there just to get a pat on the back. I said, well done. You got that far. Yeah. You got to go there and win, and then keep improving. And you're in against uh, an interesting opponent, Hamza Shiraz. Obviously, there's a lot of hype and a lot of um, push behind him, but you'll certainly be by far the biggest test he's boxed in his career. He's fought good names, but maybe at the latter stages of their career. And I don't know how you might feel, but it feels like you're absolutely in your prime right now. Yeah, 100%. I think he's in his prime. I'm in my prime. Um, that's going to make for a good fight. We've been both confident, coming off good wins. But... You know, the people, the doubters are out already and I'm, I'm here to shut them up, just like I always do. Um, I've got a lot of respect for Hamza, but when the respect goes out the ring when, when, when the ball goes, so I can't wait to bring it on. And we've got to talk a little bit about that last fight uh, against Felix Cash. An incredible night in the arena. It was absolutely bouncing for yourself and for, for Connor's fight earlier in the evening as well. Is that how you thought it would go? I mean, a lot of people obviously were picking you to win. I know Felix Cash was the favourite. I know they made that fight, I'm sure, because Matchroom thought that Felix was going to get the win. But after the first round, it just seemed, from where my vantage point, very one-sided and you were just having your way in there. Which Could it have gone any better for you? Um, the only thing better for me, if, you were to, if the cut never happened, really, because mm-hmm. I really wanted to beat him up, to be honest. He gave me that push at the way in. And, you know, I don't take so much from the words. I, I didn't like the push, really. And that... It showed me it was rattled, but I wanted to make him pay, and I still did. Yeah. But I wanted to inflict a bit more, a bit more embarrassment on him, really. And it's not really my nature, really, to be like a win to win. But I really wanted to, uh, to, to douse him. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just, he, he just took a step too far. We all could say this and that, but um, he went a bit too far. Um, but I thought it was the way. That I, I envisioned the fight going, but I thought maybe I'd probably start getting to him after four, five, six rounds, not after round one. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was even better for me, really. And I was confident getting into the fight. Again, people are saying, you're not going to win. The bookies are saying, you're not going to win. But it's all better. My mates win a lot of money on me. Sort me some drinks out. Um, everyone's happy. And but, it's, been, it's been a whirlwind few weeks for you, it has to be said. You were straight from that fight down at Wembley going through all that and the, the media side of it. And then you've got the little meeting with a, a well-known singer, Sean Paul, um, <laughs> which, was, which is incredible. I know they're pushing for it to come see the ring walk. Whether that happens or not, I don't know. But just still the fact that you're having a conversation with someone that I know you've been a big fan of. Every time I've seen you box for what seems like many years now I've been watching you, uh, it's always been Sean Paul infiltrate. And that must have been a bit surreal meeting him. Yeah, I mean, the old last couple of weeks has been a whirlwind. I thought Saturday... And then on the Sunday, I had talks about this fight. So I've not even got to digest the win or think about it too much. Um, talks went a bit quiet Monday. Tuesday, I was in Sky Sports Studios. And then on the way back, there was talks. But he's on a train and Owl's phone's terrible in at the best of times. <laughs> so the signal was a bit rubbish. And I was like, oh, what's going on? Then half 10 at night on the Tuesday, I had a phone call saying, done deal, you need to be at Wembley tomorrow morning. Obviously, so my sleep was a bit terrible that day anyway. <laughs> I, was, I was buzzing. And then it, it's just gone from strength to strength. And then Boxer got in touch. Um, Dan Miller. Um, 
he's the guy, man. So he, <laughs> said, he said, keep next Tuesday free. I need you to do something. I said, oh, my son's got football next Tuesday. He said, nah, scrap that. <laughs> he, said, he said, scrap that. We need to do something. I just left it as that. Then the day after, I think he couldn't wait to tell me or something because he, I don't know if it was meant to be a surprise or what. He said, basically, I'm taking you to meet Sean Paul Tuesday. He said, I'm going to see if we can get him to walk you out. And I was like, no. So went to meet, met, met him. He's great as well. And I think he's got a tour in Canada in September. Yeah. But he's given me the guy, he's one of his team's Instagram. They've added me, he's been talking. So if we can get there, I'm sure we'll get there. I mean, it'd be great for him as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, the exposure in front of that yeah, huge of course, audience. It's massive. The audience in the ground and worldwide on yeah. Zone, Sky, TNT, it's just a massive platform. So mm. if we can get that, if there's a chance of that happening, great. But if not, it's great. It's great to meet him. Yeah. A bit of publicity for me. Um, and, you know, it's a, it's a, a box tip to meet Sean Paul. And we've talked with a lot of the guys that are here. You know, we've had some champions. We've had some prospects that we've been speaking to today. You were at one point that prospect. You were fighting for that Midlands title. You fought on the, the small hall shows in these against these tricky, awkward opponents. What's it like knowing that now these guys are looking at someone like you in the gym as something that they can aspire to be rather than yourself five, six years ago looking ahead against all these big champions? And uh, it's a... It's an interesting position to be in, isn't it? Yeah, and it's a nice position to be in, to be honest. And it just gives them a bit of hope. Um, and it's nice for me to say to them guys, don't put a ceiling on nothing, because when you was there, when I won the Midlands title, yep. I wasn't even meant to win that really, was I? And um, people are saying, oh, he's done well, but he's reached his level now. Do you know what I mean? And then I won the English title eventually. Do you know what I mean? Because I had a few hiccups there. And then there's, he's done well again. And then you, I tried to get the British for one reason or I couldn't get the British. Then you appeared, yeah, he's done well. But then when Cash come along, he's, oh, his time's up now. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's got to keep, keep going. And BCB believe in me, I believe in myself. And I think that's the main ingredient. But it comes from the work ethic that we do in the gym. Like, so instance, me and Liam Davis, we have a, we've got a big, a big, friendly rivalry yeah. you know about number one in the gym and he's come up to me and he said you're number one in the gym now and I don't like that he's saying that because yeah, he's never yeah. said that to me before so now I have to tell him now nah, you're number one do you know what I mean normally it's like I'm number one trying to put it across to him but he but he did say a point to me before because I said to him I said when when I beat Cash I'm going to be number one in the gym he said oh that's cute that is but um I defended my European title years ago and I was like, oh. <laughs> so, so he's done me there really. But, yeah. you know, it's good and I'm just as happy for the other guys in the gym when they win and if someone was to lose, I felt like I've lost. It's um, a good good family spirit in, in the gym. All right, it's been an incredible journey so far. The be- It feels very much like the best is still yet to come. So it's been, a, it's been great and we're looking forward to seeing you... Uh, take that fight at Wembley and it's going to be it's going to be an incredible experience I can't wait to be there and, 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 get, and get the win as well and get we're the win we're not just taking yeah. fights we're coming to win not here to take part <laughs> we're here to take over so yeah it's going to be it's going to be brilliant and it, it's very much what you've earned so congratulations on this this opportunity in this fight and you know the next one after world title it could be world title coming back to Rally Regis that's it this fight first let's focus on this <laughs> one but we'll see absolutely tight thanks so much for coming down really appreciate your time nice one thank you